Hi guys, how's it going? Like my t-shirt? Guess what, I made it with crayons. Yep, and I'm gonna show you how to do it too today. So the, what you need to start with is sandpaper and crayons and maybe a pencil if you wanna sketch out your idea. Um, I found that 100 grit sandpaper works the best. The other thing you will need for later, and this was with parents, is you're gonna need wax paper, an iron, paper towel, and one Kleenex. I know. Oh, and you're gonna need an old pair of scissors if you can find an old pair because you're gonna be cutting out the uh, sandpaper and you don't want good scissors to do that, okay? Let's get started. First thing, sketch out your design. You can actually do it with a pencil if you want. You can also just kind of sketch it out with your crayon. If you're gonna do words like the word chill, you have to write them backwards. And that takes a little practice. Then you need to color. And here's, here's the trick, guys. You need to color so that you fill in as much as the sandpaper as possible. So the best thing to do is outline first, and then color in, and color in very thick, as thick as you can get it. If you can still see the sandpaper, go thicker. Okay, after you have drawn out your piece, the best thing to do is cut it out with an old pair of scissors. See these junky old pair of scissors? And the reason I'm doing that is so that I don't get little pieces of crayon all over that kind of have gotten caught all around the edge. So if you just cut it out, then you avoid all that. So before you begin, kind of shake this off to make sure all the schnibbles, all the crayon schnibbles are off. And then you're gonna take your shirt and you are going to flip it inside out so that when you iron it, and this is where mom and dad can help, you're ironing the crayon part right underneath your shirt. So, just to let you know, this is the part that I colored, and I am putting it right under so that the crayon part is on the front of my shirt and it's in the middle. Now your iron should be on a cotton setting and this is a cotton t-shirt. I don't know if it works on polyester, but this is the highest setting my iron will glow. And then I am just going to iron right on top of it. This is as hard as it goes. Should be coming through, it is. So when you are done, it inside out it'll be stuck to the front like this and you'll peel it off <laughs> look at that to set it I think the best way is to put a piece of paper a piece of uh, paper towel on the inside so this doesn't melt to the back of your t-shirt Cut out a piece of wax paper, the size, oh, I think it's on the other side, no, that was right. The size and shape of your piece, you can just trace it. Now this part, I just used uh, Kleenex and I pulled it apart so I have one ply of Kleenex so it really gets hot on top. And then I iron that so that 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 wax paper goes right on top and pushes that crayon right into your shirt so it's nice and fused with the shirt. And when you're done, pull that up, pull this up, and you can take that out because you didn't get any on the back. And Ta-da! T-shirt made with crayon.